taking more steroids. And that makes you feel better. You feel okay about yourself now because you're saying to yourself that you work just as hard as them. They're only better because they're taking drugs or they're taking more drugs. Guess what? Wrong! Wrong! They're working harder. Admit that shit. Admit that you're not willing to do whatever it takes. You're not willing to do that. You're not gonna work out for three or four hours. You're not gonna eat eight to 10 meals a day. You're not gonna get on the step mill, even in the off season, and fucking get on there and fucking go to work for an hour. Now, oh yeah, but the step mill, you know, when you do cardio in the off season, it burns, no, it doesn't burn muscle. That's an excuse so your lazy ass doesn't have to fucking do the step mill. You know what I'm saying? Man up. If you're not willing to do what it takes, at least be willing to fucking admit it. Drives me fucking crazy when people take credit away from people that are truly working their asses off. So, do whatever it takes. Reach your goals. Make your dreams come true in whatever it is in life. And you can always do more. And the biggest fucking fallacy of bodybuilding is this whole thing of you can do too much. Well, if you work out too much, you're overtraining. Oh, if you eat enough bullshit. That's for lazy fucking people to say that shit. Oh, it's, I've been training an hour. I better not train any longer because I'm gonna be overtraining and I'm gonna fucking tear my muscles down. So you leave the gym. No, you fucking work out for three or four hours. The more you put into anything, the more you get out. And this is supposed to be motivational. I'm not talking shit to people out there. I'm motivating and I'm waking people up to understand that you need
kids. It gives them satisfaction. It makes them happy. They go home happy. And, and it's a wonderful life. Well, there you go. That's fucking wonderful. You know, that's a great scenario because most people are miserable with their job no matter what the fuck it is. So that's a great scenario. School teachers are under fucking paid and it's bullshit. You know, school teachers are doing so much good and they're helping and, you know, they're, they're making, you know, in my opinion, nothing compared to what they should be being paid. So, but again, happiness is most important. So if you have a job that makes you fucking happy and you're fucking, you know, then that's fucking great. That's an exception to the rule. And uh, anyways, that's it for now, guys. I'll talk to you later. Hey, what's up, everyone? So today I want to talk about starting a business and um, great information. I've talked about this before, but not, not in the way I'm about to talk about it. I'm gonna break it down in a whole different way and put some really fucking important good information out there that hopefully people will listen to. Now, in this day and age, in my opinion, it is so easy to start a business. Uh, maybe not start a business, have a successful business. It, in my opinion, is the easiest it's ever been to actually have a successful business. Now, in this day and age, as hopefully most people out there realize that pretty much in every industry, it's all about making money and making a profit and at all costs. So what that has done is it's caused pretty much in every different industry, it's caused products to basically become shit. And it's all about marketing, lying and selling and making money. And pretty much any industry, if you come out with a product that truly is a good product and really does do what it's supposed to do, how could you not be successful? And it's very rare in any industry now to have true good products. I mean, for instance, you know, if, if a female is going to buy shampoo, she sees a commercial on TV, the girl has incredible hair, you know, it's full, it's shiny, it's beautiful, and they advertise it, and you go to see that shampoo at the hair salon and you open up and you smell it and it smells really good, they basically buy the shampoo. Now, they very rarely turn the ball around and look at the label and see what is in the shampoo because people, I don't know what to say, they, they, they just go by what they see and they don't investigate. They don't, they're not real concerned with what they should be concerned about. And you know, a little bit of education along with the products that you create will show people that you have a true, real product and um, you know, what you created is something that is going to help them. It's not just to make money and put a bunch of shit in the bottle. Now, let's talk about, we can talk about anything, lotions, shampoos, soaps, fucking makeup, anything. And the top selling products out there you know, are not good for you. I mean, let's, let's talk about makeups. You guys know the most popular makeup. You go through the mall, you see it. It's not good for your skin. And women buy that shit up because of marketing and advertising. And you know, it's shitty fucking makeup. You know, Mac, give a fuck, say whatever I want. Um, you know, shampoos, sulfates, alcohol, um, sodium. Help me out, babe. Parabens. Parabens. I mean, the list goes on. If you Google uh, what you don't want in shampoo, you'll see a list of over 20 things that is in every fucking shampoo you go that Go look in your shower and then Google, you know, what ingredients should I, should not be in shampoo that's bad for your hair. Google that, look at the shampoo in your shower right fucking now and look and see how many of those ingredients that are going to fuck your hair up, that are not good for your hair, that dries it out, you know, fucks up your scalp, can cause hair loss, blah, 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 blah. Just do a little research. Spend five minutes of your fucking day and you will see that the shampoo you're currently using more than likely is shit. It's garbage. And it's pretty much that with anything. When it comes to skin care, you know, the sec first, first ingredient is water, second ingredient is alcohol. Putting alcohol in your fucking skin is not good. It dries it out. 
It's not good for your skin. It doesn't keep it moist. Um, you know, it, it, the list goes on. It's pretty much any product in the industry. Um, the products are bullshit. You know, it's all marketing bullshit. And you know, it, let's for instance, what's the place where you buy the the nice body washes and Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Women love this fucking store. <laughs> You walk in, I've been in that store with, with, with many females in my life. You walk in, you look for the prettiest fucking bottle, you know, marshmallow, vanilla, fucking, you know, whatever. And you see it and you're like, fuck, that, that sounds really, it must smell good. You open it up, you smell it, you're like, oh my God, here, smell this. Wow, it smells great. Oh, throws it in the cart. Never turns the bottle around to see what the fuck is in it. Doesn't matter what the fuck is in it. Whatever's in it, is not good for your skin and it's not a good product but it doesn't fucking matter because all we fucking care about is how good it smells oh it smells so good oh put it in the cart shampoos oh my god smell this oh throw it in the cart <laughs> and that's pretty much all people are concerned with they don't ever investigate what they're putting on their body in their body they don't give a fuck and i've tried to put some things out there educate people and some people are Right on, they're like, fuck, I had no idea. This is fucking crazy. Well, it takes five fucking minutes, not even five minutes, two minutes to fucking Google anything. And you can get to the bottom of whatever the fuck the question is. If I put something out there, Google it. Google that shit. And you will see that what I'm saying is the fucking truth. And you know, when I started my supplement company, that's what I wanted to do. As a teenager, I was misled with a bunch of bullshit. And I realized I should have been eating fucking food. And, you know, instead of spending all my money on bullshit, you know, and when I say bullshit, I'm talking about protein powders and weight gainers. And a lot of people still don't understand it, but, you know, when a weight gainer has maltodextrin, dextrose, sugar, it's fucking shit. You know, a bowl of fucking cereal is better than this product you're buying at a supplement store. A bowl of Special K is rice and sugar. Well, at least there's some real fucking complex carb in there, some real shit. Maltodextrin, dextrose, there's no real shit. It's all fake bullshit that you wouldn't want to put in your body. And, you know, people don't read the back. They don't give a fuck. They just see the advertisement. Oh, I'm going to buy that shit. You know, you, whatever you think people are taking or whatever you see, however you, you buy it. And that's the truth with any fucking product out there. You just buy the shit. You know, there are certain shoe companies, you know, they're, they're, they're spending like fucking $7 to make a pair of shoes now that they sell for 120 And it, it, to me, it's obvious. People don't give a fuck, you know, whatever the popular name is, buy that fucking shoe. You know, and it's, with, it's like that with any fucking thing there is in the world. And I, this is, I'm giving you business advice. I'm not trying to hype my shit up. I'm trying to explain to you that if you truly wanted to start a business, just come out with a real fucking product. That's all you have to do. You know, come out with a soap that truly is good for your skin, that doesn't have any bullshit in it. Market that shit, educate people on all the harmful fucked up shit that's in other soaps, and people will learn and see, wow, I didn't have any idea there was all this fucked up shit in the soap I use. Wow, this person's making a real fucking good soap that's good for you. That's all it takes, you know? Nowadays, every, every fucking, every industry has just so much fucked up shit going on, all about greed and money, that you can pick any fucking industry and just come out with a real product. It's really easy. You know, Google soap and fucking Google what ingredients are not good in soap. Brrr. Create a product that doesn't have those fucking ingredients. What ingredients are good for in soap? What are the best ingredients to look for when you buy soap? Brrr. Okay, let me figure out my product. Okay, here's all the best fucking ingredients. Here's all the shit ingredients. Ba 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 ba. Okay, here's what I'm gonna put in my soap. I just created the best fucking soap out on the market. Wow, that took me 10 minutes. I just created an incredible product that I can probably make millions on because it's the only fucking true, real motherfucking product out there. But going along with this, you have to educate people on the way because people will continue to go about things the way they go about them. They will smell the soap and they will buy the soap that smells the best. Um, whatever soap they see advertised on TV, that will stick in their head and they, when they go to the store, they will buy that soap. 
Um, this is the way things have become. And so it, take it from me, it's a lot of fucking work to educate people. And you know, when people get in the habit of just the same shit over and over, it's really hard for them to break that habit, you know? And the truth be told, probably, I would say 85% of the shampoos out there, you would be better off not using shampoo than using these fucking shampoos. It's fucking up your hair. And you'd be better off not using those shampoos. And you know, it's crazy because we have been programmed that we have to wash our fucking hair, we have to, and so it's the right thing to do. But the reality is, it's not the right thing to do. Just like protein powders, we've been programmed over 40 fucking years at protein shakes, protein shakes, protein shakes, protein shakes. You know, as I told you guys a million times, the question I used to get, not so much now, because I get to fucking put the word out there, most of the time, the question I got asked most often, people that don't know who I am, just on a regular, you know, going out to the store or restaurants, hey man, can I ask you a question? What kind of protein powder do you use? That's the number one fucking question I used to get all the time. And it's like, man, I don't use protein powders, I just eat fucking real food. Really? You don't use protein powders? I thought protein powder, no, it's bullshit. It's been fucking, it's been put in your brain and everyone's brain for the last 40 years. If you educate yourself and you go Google and find out about it, you'll realize that it's not good, it's bullshit. And believe me, I'm gonna put more shit out there, you know, protein companies that have been spiking their protein that have been caught, which is pretty much most companies out there. You know, the denature of the fucking process of what it goes through to create the protein powder, how it denatures the value of the protein, and you know, how you can add, you know, things with nitrogen that's gonna make the protein number go up higher when there really isn't more protein. It's because that number is based on the nitrogen. There's a lot of shit people don't know, and it's really easy to find out. You just just Google it. It's there. You know, anything you need to know, you Google it, you find out in minutes. You know, a lot of people don't even, I don't know if people even realize there is a Google or what Google is. But, you know, anyway, I'm just putting some shit out there. People that are looking to start a business or tired of fucking, you know, working nine to five, whatever. I'm just explaining how simple it is to come out with a really, really good product. And it can be in any fucking industry out there. You know, there really truly isn't good products anymore because, you know, people are all about making as much money as possible, you know, and you know, if you can make a t-shirt for $1.50 and sell it for $30, that's the goal. If you can get a really good quality t-shirt for, you know, $8.50 and sell it for $3, fuck, that's, that doesn't make sense. That's stupid. I could buy this one for $1.50 and make seven more dollars per shirt. I sell a million shirts, right? That's millions of dollars more. Why the fuck would I pay that much for a shirt? And you know what? The truth is, is it really doesn't matter because people will buy the shittier product if you market shit right. And that's the way it is. And so that's why companies can get away with shitty products because people don't use their brains. People don't educate. They don't find out. They just fucking follow the fucking sheep over the fucking mountain, you know? And they, they don't really care, you know? And, you know, same thing with protein bars. I mean, come on, protein bars, it's like, the protein bar that tastes like a Snickers bar, do you really believe that's good? Do you really believe that's a healthy thing? It's not good for you. Now, if you're gonna have it instead of a Snickers bar and you're not counted as a meal or anything to do with a meal, then great, that's better than a Snickers bar. But don't start to think that you're doing something healthy because you're eating a bar that tastes like a Snickers bar. Now, common sense will tell you that if you bite into a bar and it really isn't the best tasting bar, it's probably because it's somewhat good for you. <laughs> and when you bite into a bar that tastes like a fucking candy bar, well, hello, I think that's kind of a sign that it's probably not the best thing for you. And I'm not saying don't eat bars, I'm just saying, come on, you know, like, don't think you're eating something that's good for you and healthy. You know, now if you're gonna have it instead of a Snickers bar, then yeah, it more than likely is better than a Snickers bar, but not always. Um, so anyway guys, just a little bit of advice on starting a business and I have about fucking 15 businesses that I want to start and I'm, I already have fucking done the business plan, I've worked out the ingredients, like I'm fucking, I have so much shit that I want to do but I'm so busy with the current stuff I have going on that I don't really have the time at this point but it just amazes me at how easy it is to do this in any industry because 
in every industry, like I said, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. And if you guys do your research, like I said, just don't fucking, don't even waste your time commenting on my shit. Just go research what I'm saying. Just go Google anything, you know, in makeup, shampoo, soaps, any fucking kind of perfumes, very fucking perfumes is the most money making industry out there. The, the perfume in the bottle costs less than the fucking bottle. So you're going to sell a bottle of perfume for 80 bucks. The bottle costs you a dollar sixty, dollar eighty. The bottle. What's in the bottle costs pennies. And the reason for it is all the alcohol they put in the perfume is what drives the price down. That's why when you skirt, squirt the perfume or the cologne on, it doesn't last very long. You got to put fucking 20 squirts on and two hours later it's gone. It evaporated because of all the alcohol. And again, you can Google and find this information out. A true 100% perfumer clone with no alcohol in it, you can give yourself one squirt and that shit will last all day long. So the bottle of perfume would last you months as opposed to, you know, three or four weeks because you don't have to use as much. When they put the alcohol, it, it, it fucks up the product, but it saves them costs. It makes them more money. So perfume industry, great fucking industry. You know, if you want to fucking rob people, it's great because, you know, you put the alcohol in it and you're paying less than $3 to make a bottle of perfume you can sell for 90 Like the markup is in, insane. But, you know, it's a hard business. There's a lot of competition and what are the chances of you having a big fucking, you know, perfume company? Pretty fucking slim. Um, but if you came out with a legitimate good product with no alcohol, and you opened up everyone's eyes to the fucking scam going on with all the alcohol in it, then you could possibly fucking blow away the top fucking perfume people because you're letting everyone know that it's a fucking scam. They're trying to fuck you. It's all about fucking making more money, you know? And to make a good bottle of perfume, you can't do it for $3. If you take the alcohol out, it's gonna cost you, you know, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I haven't investigated this as much as I might now, <laughs> but you know, it's gonna cost you probably at least eight times more, maybe five, six times more to develop a true perfume with no alcohol, but it's gonna last two or three times longer. So obviously you're gonna spend more money, you're gonna make less profit, but in the end, you could grow bigger than the top companies because you're doing the right thing and you're putting out a truly genuine good fucking product. So anyway, guys, I'm just trying to put this out there that it, it, it's a lot easier than people realize to start a business. And in my opinion, it's to go the other way. You know, don't follow what everyone else is doing. Do the complete opposite. Everyone else is making fucking shitty products and fucking consumers do the opposite. Come out with a good fucking product that's going to revolutionize the industry and then start educating people and put it out there and explain to people this and this and that. And guess what? You're gonna slowly grow big and pretty soon you might be the biggest fucking company out there because you're the only one doing the fucking right thing. So anyway guys, I hope this helps and again, you know, don't fucking waste your time commenting. Don't fucking just go Google this shit. Find out right now. Find out what I'm saying and you'll see, holy shit, like every fucking shampoo, fucking lotion, fucking whatever make is, is all, it's all fucking garbage. Now not all. There's some people out there doing the right thing, but they just haven't been able to market well enough to fucking get it out there. And what they're missing is, they're missing educating the fucking consumer. And that's what I'm doing with my products. I'm educating the consumers as much as I can to educate so people can learn. Once they learn what I'm saying and they actually do go investigate it and Google it and see for their own eyes, they'll be like, holy shit, and it's a done deal. But it's a lot of work educating people. A lot of fucking work. People have shit that's put in their brain and it's hard to fucking get them to fucking change their mind or whatever. But, you know, it's really easy. There's a thing called Google. Go Google whatever you want and the fucking answers are there. And uh, it's, it's an amazing tool to use in anything in life. You know, people ask me questions and it's like, motherfucker, have you heard of Google? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it... All this shit you're asking me, you can Google and find out in fucking two seconds and you can, you know, you can educate yourself. You could learn more about whatever it is than I know. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Um, I hope this can help a lot of people out there enormously. I hope you 
move forward and maybe look into starting your own shit. And um, like I said, it's, it's not as hard as people think. You know, coming out with the product is really fucking easy. You know, and marketing that product is really fucking easy because you're one of the only people that's doing the fucking, the real deal, that's doing, making a good product. So it becomes easy to market that shit. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. Keep pushing forward, never fucking give up. Whatever you're doing, you can always do more. And believe me, I haven't even fucking started. I have so many fucking ideas of shit and because it's so easy, you know, my, my thing is time, you know, and I'm the kind of person that I got to do shit myself. I can't just, you know, give off people to do this and do that. I'm very, I, I'm really anal about shit. And it's got to be done a certain way. And, uh, you know, so I need to be involved in everything I do. So, but moving forward, I got a lot of shit coming and I'm excited. I'm happy. And I'm just trying to get it out there that people it's, it's easier than you think. So fucking get on Google and go to work. God damn it.